What's going on guys? I'm Jada Black. I want to talk about this unfortunate story in regards to a promising boxer, Puerto Rican boxer by the name of Felix Verdejo. I believe that's how you say it. Verdejo. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. I believe he has turned himself into authorities after his side chick came up missing after she went to visit him i believe to confront him about the fact that she is going to be having his child now this guy is in a whole nother situation he has a whole family right and is looking more and more like he is the guilty party we don't know everyone that's involved i'm going to get to the details of the article but i just want to say this if you don't want to have a child by a woman that you don't want to be in a relationship with, you don't really see anything in her itself or somebody that you can have relations with, I highly suggest you wear protection. Because dealing with women on the side and then going home to your family, then finding out that the woman that you have on the side is having a kid, that's not something that you want especially this guy and i have seen situations like this play out that certain scenarios where you got these guys that they find out they're having a child by a woman that they don't want and tragedy strikes now i have two different articles here from bro bible and as well as yahoo now we're gonna get to the one from yahoo first now according to this article it says a federal judge on Monday ordered Puerto Rican boxer Felix Redejo held without bail after he was charged in the untimely passing of the, this 27-year-old uh, pregnant lover who was discovered in a lagoon. Redejo is charged with kidnapping and carjacking in result of her passing. Her name is Keishla Rodriguez. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And with intentionally um, taking the life of the unborn child. He did not make any comments during Monday's virtual hearing in which he relied on a translator. Uh, let's see. A criminal complaint filed by the FBI accuses uh, Felix of punching Rodriguez in the face and injecting her with syringe filled with unidentified substance uh, bought at public housing complex. Uh, we can only guess what that is. He, it alleged he then bound her arms and feet with wire, tied a heavy block to her before throwing her off a bridge at 8.30 a.m. Wow. That wow. That's, that's crazy, man. First off, I'm pretty sure any punches to a woman's face from a professional boxer is going to do a lot of damage. This is something straight out of a movie or some docu-series. Once again, I ask the question, if you don't want to have children outside of your situation or relationship or marriage, why do you do it? Why do you do it? Why do you put yourself in a situation? Now your career is over. Now you may not be able to see the light of day again, all because you got emotional because you found out a woman that you were having unprotected relations with is now having your child. And you thought this was gonna work when people knew she was going to see you? This is beyond dumb. This is beyond dumb. Now I know there's gonna be some, unfortunately there's gonna be some uh, mental midgets, uh, some mentally unstable people that's going to think that what he was doing was justified. Yes, yeah, so you, you're going to see that. You're probably going to see that. None of this was justified. But I, I will say this. There does need to be accountability. You are a young woman. You're 27. You're engaging in a relationship with a guy that has a whole nother woman. Why do that? Why do that? And then he's having unprotected relations with you. And there's a chance that you could get pregnant by him. Once again, it has to be accountability across the board. 
she got into a relationship with a guy who was with somebody else and now this has happened but ultimately he did not have to go this far because he was going to be eventually found out that he did it and he was going to be caught so what was the point of all this if you're just going to end up getting caught quickly anyway as a matter of fact you turning yourself in turning yourself in let's go on said the complaint uh says the, uh, the complaint says a witness says a witness it did not identify helped felix take her and dispose of, of rodriguez u.s government has 30 days to present the case to a federal grand jury meanwhile a date for felix next hearing has uh, yet to be announced rodriguez who was reported missing on thursday after she didn't show for her job at an animal grooming business was found in a lagoon near the u.s territory capital on saturday official identified her sunday via dental records felix and his attorneys previously declined comment and said that the boxer did not originally cooperate and refused to answer questions rodriguez family said uh, she was pregnant with felix child killer ortiz the victim's mother told reporters that the daughter uh, that her daughter called on thursday and told her that felix was going to her house to see the results of the pregnancy i told her be careful because he had already threatened her ortiz said that felix had told her daughter not to have the baby mentioning his career and family of course but once again sir uh, you made the choice to have a woman on the side. So you have to deal with the, the consequences of that. Just like you're going to have to deal with the consequences of this situation. You already had a, a relationship. You had a family. Why have unprotected relations with a woman you don't really want like that? So obviously you didn't care about your career. You didn't care about your family. Because now you're never going to probably may never see them again, depending on how everything goes. Right. Because he is in Puerto Rico, I believe. And, you know, hey, it's what it is. But I just think that the accountability just isn't there, especially I will say more so on his part. Because when you make the choice to step out on your spouse and you get another woman pregnant, that's the decision that you made and ultimately you have to deal with the consequences and to me i don't think he has really thought things through like that to where he's doing what he is doing and some you know some unfortunate person decided to help them on his journey to wreck lives there's a lot of lives that have been lost in this one incident and most of the blame i put squarely on the shoulders of felix because he should have known better Felix is married and has a young daughter, but had known Rodriguez since middle school and maintained a relationship with her, her parents said. Now, Felix is 27 2 with 17 knockouts, represented Puerto Rico at the 2012 Olympics and became a professional boxer that year, competing in the lightweight division. His career was temporarily sidetracked after he was hospitalized following a 2016 motorcycle accident. The case has outraged many in Puerto Rico, where another one was recently found uh, deceased after she had filed a DV uh, complaint that a judge dismissed. A superior court judge has announced an investigation into the decision. Hundreds of people gathered Sunday at a bridge that crossed the lagoon where Rodriguez was found uh, to demand justice for her and other women, with some throwing flowers into the water below. Yeah, this is a this is definitely an unfortunate situation. And I think that ultimately justice will be served. But again, the decisions of one man has caused the destruction of so many people around him. When he could have ended things, right? But he just kept sleeping with this girl. He just kept sleeping with this girl until she got pregnant. Now, all of a sudden, he wants her to get rid of the baby. And if she doesn't, he gets rid of her. Imagine what else this guy has gotten away with. For him to be this brazen and to do this, lets me know he planned, right? This is something that he had been planning to do. 
it's almost as if he didn't think that there will be any consequences for his actions. Of course, there's going to be consequences for your actions when you do something like this. You have to understand if you don't want to be with a woman, you got to stop sleeping with her and not wearing protection. You can't be out here trying to have relationships outside of your relationship and have unprotected relations with these girls. And then when they get pregnant, now all of a sudden you want to take their lives. You should have thought of that before you went and did what you did. Now, not only is your life pretty much over, the girl you were with life is gone, but you're leaving behind someone whom you were with, your child may not even grow up with a father. And this is all because of one man's decision to try to cover up what he feels like was a mistake. When all he had to do was stop dealing with that girl. If you didn't want to be with her, let her go. You gain nothing with continuing a relationship with somebody uh, on the side if you don't really see them as anything long term. Because now you're in a situation where you have pretty much ruined your life and you have nobody but yourself to blame your career is done you went from being a promising boxer to being pretty much a pariah in society if you don't believe me go look at his instagram uh comments they are out for blood they want justice so we'll see what happens